Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Onzi 2 again where today you join me um, on Humble Busters for episode 2 of 5 videos that are going to be coming out prior to the release of Humble Busters so today I'm going to be driving route 505 as initially planned but in a vehicle that I didn't plan to drive it in because I totally forgot it was going to be released so this is the um, Eclipse 2 V7L Hybrid Beta so basically just adds um, an Eclipse 2 front to the B7L. No other refurbishment apart from the cab has taken place as of yet on this vehicle. Um, although I think there is plans to refurbish it more into an Eclipse 2 in the future. So let's set it up. So we have got a nice steering wheel and a nice little cab here that's nice and refurbished. And then as I say the front of the vehicle looks quite good. The sounds are a bit iffy, iffy, iffy kind of thing, a bit different. We'll set our blinds to 5.05. So the time is there, this one will change that. But yeah, it's been ages since I've driven um, a full, like, full length single decker on this, other saying that this isn't really full length. It's an Eclipse 2, or V7L well like, and V7L is a bit smaller than Renault's. So if you can get a renown round here, you can get anything round here. So we'll put it into gear. Make sure our desk is set. That looks nice as that. But usually solos, or not solos, but usually 709Ds run this. Preferably solos if you could get like a fully legalised um, solo out there. It would be done by solos, but... Indicators have different sounds. I've got to say the indicator sounds are like often older, the older B7 RLE urban model. They don't sound like they're from the Eclipse 2. A lot from the Eclipse 2's I've ever heard. So I've got to say, I had a little drive and it is quite a nice bus to drive as this. The cab area is definitely does its work, but I'm just, I just wish they spent a bit more time like on the back of that. I don't know how it works, so I'm probably just, probably, I don't know, because I don't know how hard it is to edit models. But all I know is, is he is working on it, so. Low one that definitely deserves credit for definitely editing the front to make it look absolutely superb. Because it is right, it is an edited version of the B7L. That's all it is. I don't know where that um, red, red Mercedes came from. Didn't seem to like my bolts. That's a little like glitch when you're reversing around there. There's nothing you can do. Schools up and um, to the left of that turning, so that's where probably our next video is going to be using the Olympian. First Olympian, now all of which are withdrawn around my area, so it's quite ironic to drive an RH one, the, all of which are actually now withdrawn, so it's quite quite weird. All of the London RHs are now withdrawn from their original original home kind of thing. So it's a shame really that the Olympians have to go. But I've got quite a few videos um, that I took on the last day and I've got quite a few photos and things. So the memories are still kept alive. And anyway, you guys will be able to keep alive the memories on my bus videos because I've got a few um, farewell videos planned for a few vehicles. We definitely go down here now, aren't we? 
can't see. There we go. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's all I need. Apologies about like the lag in places. Not lag, but like I don't know. Pull account. Probably what I'm best saying. up to the bus I'm pulling it over near the stand yeah I wanna see what some of these buttons do. Hello there. Hello there. Same was definitely nice. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna leave all the buttons and go oh wait this is one that I I don't I Suspension didn't work. I don't know. I don't have a clue then. <laughs> the 505 is like the um, clockwise circular, and the 506 is the anti clockwise circular of like the whole town with um, both running 20 minutes each every 20 minutes because it's one bus on each run and um, together adding a frequency of every 10 minutes from the rail station to the town centre. The 505 that we're driving now doesn't serve um, the, bus, the bus station market square thing, 506 does. So there's a few little variants here and there. So we're currently driving through North Shore Estate. Everybody, there we go. Nobody else, good. Again, quite a busy bus, I think it's quite good. I'll put this on. Sec to get over to your bus stop, please. Go. No need to walk out. Dear, oh dear. Let's see where we are. I'm only one minute late. Oh, it's okay. We're going to meet the 709D round here, I hate meeting it on this turn, I think that's where you're scheduled to meet it. Always meet it somewhere around here. And we'll see that same bus again at the other end. Other like side of the route. I think I left that a tad bit too wide. Hey, handsome. Another one from that stop. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Car Drive, for waiting. Not being a nutter. Hey, 
I'm a fucking probably a fuck curve. What is wrong with me today? So I'm actually um, going to try and get all the five from the buses videos, all the like the other three now, um, all done in one job lot today hopefully. Just so that I can upload them steadily during the weeks and then I can upload and release everything. may have left breaking there to very 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 last minute. Because this run is very, very like required, although you do get like a six minute wait time when you get back to the rail station, so it's not too much of a worry. I want to check that we're all still up and recording. There we go, yeah we are good, good, good. Okay, um, so how bad we're doing? Oh, we're running now, they like two minutes late. I didn't know there was someone to do before. Too busy focusing on what I'm doing with the lag. The lag's because we're approaching, um, oh, not lag, or whatever you want to call it, um, is because we're approaching a very, very full account area that I'm not replacing until like the next edition because it just basically it would require a whole um, new refurbishment of um, Richmond Town Centre. So until the next edition of the map, it's not going to be furbished. I'm aware that you guys will probably complain, like with all the poly count, but it's like when I built this map, and um, first I didn't know that poly count existed, and that's what made everything laggy. So. Oh gosh, what I'm doing. So that's why there's high poly count scenarios. So I'm not going to go into details, all I'm saying is where there's really, really, really high poly counts. I know where they are um, in the centre of Richmond, so I will be replacing them in the next edition, not in this, not in the one far coming. So the bus station is to a one-way street on your right. Forgot that that was a good way. So it's down there is your bus station marketplace, and it's a one-way loop around Richmond Town Centre. <coughs> one-way loop around it.
Let's see how we... Oh, we still have it in Okay. So this is the route that um, this we're going up past the harbour now, and um, we go up and down this route, same as the five or six, and then we do our own little loop around the state, the state housing area that's around the bus depot. Apologies about the curb. Sorry, didn't know we were that close to it. So the park and ride where we went last time is up there, and look, there's a one hundred coming up now on that same route with a repaint that I really do need to replace because I made like I made me on um, Aberdeen style repaint um, that represents 62139 the Heritage Aberdeen lived with renown that, um, of, that was repainted in Heritage colour in Aberdeen and then a few months later I don't, don't remember how long and um, got taken down to where I it did and I can't remember the exact place I think it was Essex first in Essex and then um, they had the first logo spot on the fronts and sides instead of the Aberdeen um, crests and then it became a driver trainer later and it is still a driver trainer now still in these still in the colour that you see it passing me So this time we take an anti-clockwise loop around this tiny tiny loop to come back down again. Oh gosh, I thought he was turning right then, I got right where he So yeah, I'm planning a lot. Oh, I need to. That staff bus doesn't exist anymore, but it, it might do in latter years for staff shuttle to remote areas. What? Good day, driver. So this is where, if anything, you'd have your driver changeover, although I haven't actually looped around the service so you finish here. So a lot of people are jumping off at the depot. We'll get a this is where we can get screenshots. What I'll probably be for the whole video. Can't actually get any like photogenic spots on this. Nah, I can't actually get any photos on. Anyway, let's depart. people walking off the bus then because of that um, man with the white t-shirt it looked like he walked off the bus I thought we were walking through cars then I was like what but no I just know that that woman stopped so I'm going mad for a minute so as you can see back there there's still some Tudor houses right next to the pavement but because they're not on an actual boot service route as of yet I'm not replacing them because they're on a hill and I just, I've, I've honestly like had enough with this map and it's, it's basically, it's a matter of I've had enough editing the map so far, it's just going to get released in the current state, so, because the, uh, the current state of all of the routes, on all of the roads the routes go on, is pretty much how I'd like it, so. about to surf and Oh, I got worried then, I thought I'd forgotten a few arrows, but I haven't. Arrows are switched off. So 
I just like to leave the arrows on just so that you guys can see the arrows so you know where to find them. <coughs> so you know where to find them if you don't know where they are. Apologies about that really uberly bad voice crack that occurred. So it's quite fun along here, especially when there's loads of parked cars in this um, white dotted box area. It's quite fun as that. But I've turned all my parked cars off so it just saves in space. Let's head back to the rail station. So here's the second passing of the same 709B. It'll loop round like this duty does usually run by 709. They both just loop round all day and pass each other twice at the loop. The 709B repaint was actually made by me and so was the um, Olympia repaint that's also include that um, you'll also require for this um, download. Oh no you won't require the Olympian, you won't require the 10.5 Olympian one but you'll require the Mercedes 0305 double decker refurbished version of the repaint because I, I refurbished it because the other one looked terrible in Harrowfort. So I've refurbished it with all the same names as previous so you need to download that for the school runs and then you just need VGX Tactics, um, First Barbie, First Olympia, Renown and um, Pack to get the rest working. So now what we'll do is we will head back up the road to the rail station, pass the renown again. So although there's only like five AI vehicles, you do get to pass them quite a few times. The school runs are exempt from that, obviously, because we only run twice. Or they run like four like runs, I think. I've, I've accounted that right. Yeah, I have. They run four runs each a day. Two in the morning, two in the evening, so like each. So they run out and then they run back to depot and then afternoon run run out night in service and then run back in service to depot. And then the other other like wonders as well. So it's to stop for the um, shopping out area that took me quite a while to um, edit up. So I've got to say that this area does look quite nice and I would like you guys when you do get the map to just spare a moment to just have a look at that because of how long it took I think it definitely paid off. Especially did this area, this area is quite impressive. Hey,
now we'll pull into the rail station. So we just yeah. Oh we've caught up like a whole minute. That's good is that. We're not even a minute, a full minute late anymore, that's good. So before, before we open the doors, I'm going to put my service on and cancel time table. And what I'll do is I'll get a screenshot before we do all of that. Because I won't mind a screenshot, but I won't mind those people not getting on to have to jump off again. Because I, because I know how I know how annoying it is to do that. So I'll just go. Are they still on the vehicle? Oh, they're probably going for like a round trip, aren't they? Why is it still moving? Are they bounds? What is bouncing? Hey! <laughs> it's a bit random. Okay, did this is. Hey! Really random is that? Eh? I don't get it. Like, eh? Where's all, where's all the massive lags by? Who's she? It's called in the bus to lie. I don't know. <laughs> that, that one weird was that. So yeah, that was route um, 5 or 5 in the refurbished um, V7L, the V7L Eclipse 2 hybrid, so basically a new front and a new cab area so far. We're expecting quite a bit more to come with it as well, as we've been promised, um, so like edited rears and seats etc etc, and a sound pack as well as the desk is will do it for me to be honest. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have a question, suggestion, need to download, as dare to ask me in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and we do hope to see you in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.